to become an instrument for you know passing on if someone has a good strong link with Baba they set a vibration in the room that helps you know their drishti giving drishti sets a vibration that helps you know create an atmosphere and especially in the early days Baba was really would only allow those people who he felt really had that connection because that sort of creates the vibration but it's like in I think in life sometimes you give and sometimes you receive and sometimes you know someone meets you and I think it's almost like you know they give you a gift and you can receive the gift of their goodwill uh, their feelings as well so sometimes you're consciously in a way though I think when you remember Baba you're always an instrument to put out but at the same time sometimes I think when someone wants to give love, give good wishes, you know, we become humble, we become a child, and like we can accept those feelings. One of the things I think the systems that Baba set up right at the beginning was we meditate with eyes open. And sometimes I think, Baba used to say, if we close our eyes, we're like still doing bhakti, we're still doing devotion. Because you know, sometimes the whole idea of closing eyes is shutting out life. But actually, meditation is for life. And the more we remember, um, the more we keep our eyes open, we tend to carry the effect of our meditation into daily life. And many, 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 many years ago, I was in San Francisco once, and there was a woman studying, researching, meditation at um, the University of California in San Francisco and I was one of her guinea pigs she did many and she said she said her study was that it's an absolute fact that meditators can calm themselves down to the point I think there's a few countries in Europe that if you prove you're a regular meditator they give you lower life insurance premiums <laughs> you know so they, <clears throat> but what she, she was interested in was when you come back into action. Now, everyone in this room lives a busy life. It's the nature of the time. We have family, we have work, we have responsibility. And what happens normally is it just engulfs my sacred space of the mind and I get caught up in so many different things. And... I was one of her guinea pigs. I had to sit in a little room <clears throat> and they attacked electrodes to me, you know, and they were registering my brain waves. And she asked, I was in there for six hours. And at first she asked me to sleep, and I'm quite good at that, so I, <laughs> I had a little snooze. She registered my brain waves. Then, she asked me to meditate, she registered my brain waves, and she gave me all these problems to do. I had to count backwards from 1,017 and give her an answer closest to zero in a certain amount of time. I had to do all these problems. She was sort of putting me under pressure in a way. And you know what she said? She said, those who meditate with their eyes open carry their meditation into their life. That's what Baba wants us to do. He wants us to not just be, you know, when I sit at home on my own and I close my eyes and I shut out the world, I feel a bit relaxed. No, he wants us to engage with life and take that feeling. And I think it's really important because many of us habitually just close our eyes when we meditate. Why? Because the habit of the soul is to be controlled by the sense organs. So you see something and it drives your thinking. You hear something and it drives your thinking. That's when a soul is body conscious. When a soul is soul conscious, you're still seeing, but you're creating your thoughts. What are we doing in meditation? You're sitting down and you're creating the thoughts you want. And the more you practice that, you, even as you go about your day, people comment, people criticize people, but you're still creating the quality of thought you want. So you're taking back the power in your life. You're taking back control 
of your mind rather than your mind just hearing this think 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 seeing this think 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 this news think 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 and i'm just reacting 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 to life and when my mind's in that place as kathy was saying i think automatically your drishti will hold that feeling in your mind and will donate and give to people but sometimes out of respect i think we can receive from others and that's also a sweet thing to do to take the gift of goodwill or whatever from others as well yes so i think that i think it's important to meditate with eyes open and take drishti um, that's baba's system which he set and i think that helps us trans it helps us move our spirituality from a textbook and a theory into life you know we live it we're living it we're not just believing it many times when people ask me about meditation i say meditation is for action you know meditation is for life thoughts are the seeds of action what am i doing i'm waking up in the morning and i'm creating these quality thoughts sometimes i think it's like an awareness you create in your mind is like soil just imagine you create this love for baba this elevated state then all the thoughts just imagine the thoughts are like plants growing out of that so all the thoughts during the day are healthy if you have good amrit vela you may go into stressful situations challenging situations but because the awareness and the morning was good the plants the thoughts the grass that grows out of that soil is healthy we all know if you wake up in the morning and you feel down you feel heavy it's usually a battle all day is that correct yeah. you know you're just battling all day because the awareness is negative or you know self-critical whatever it may be and then that sort of awareness the plants that grow out of that aren't so healthy and I would really, sometimes we have to revisit our practice and just think, you know, do I keep my eyes open? Do I take drishti? It is Baba's system because it keeps us attentive in meditation too. And we all know the fringe benefits of drishti. It stops you from. I can tell you so many times I've been in sessions and people <coughs> Again, what did you experience? Oh, it was so peaceful. Yeah. <laughs>